What's up, motherfucking bitch bastard fucks? What's up, biatches? Somebody mentioned, uh, in the stream the other day that they would like to see Ratchet and Clank. I was like, you know what? I've never really played it. And I do like me some Ratchet and Clank, man. And I was gonna play some Final Fantasy XII again, but I know you guys don't want to see any more of that. And it looks really fucking good. I remember when the PS3 came out, man, and that Tools of Destruction hit. That was the first PS3 game that really blew my mind. Like, I remember I was working at GameStop at the time. And I rented that game from GameStop because we were allowed to rent games. And I rented it. And I immediately, like, bought it, like, right after. Because I was just so blown away by what it looked like. Because I just, like, had, like, a brand new HG, uh, HGTV. I think it was my big-ass fucking beast CRT HD TV, so it looked fucking incredible. I couldn't believe how good it looked and shit. And uh, that was the first game to really blow me away because Resistance Fall Man definitely didn't do it. Let me tell you. As a matter of fact, like I was playing that game and I was like, I was like, is it even HD? Like I remember vividly like checking my settings over and over again, trying to figure out why that game just looked like a fucking PS, like a early PS2 joint. Just look like shit. I mean, it's just so nasty looking. Even you know, it didn't really look good till Resistance 2, and even then, I don't like the way that game looks. Resistance is one of those series that nobody talks about anymore, man. It's like it never even happened. It was like a bad dream. I don't think any of those games really hold up. I tried to go back and play Resistance 3 not too long ago, and I was like, no. I'm kind of missing the like when you play. Uh, Final Fantasy XII for a while with that speed shit, man, like, you start getting used to it, like, I'm, like, pushing, I'm pushing, like, R1, and, or, uh, L1 trying to do the speed thing, like, I'm so used to it now, like, it doesn't even feel right not having it, hold on, I got a text here, yeah, I wanna fucking run around, man, what the fuck, I think every game should have that. Yeah, I don't care about the stories in this. I don't care about the Ratchet and Clank story. I'm a grown ass man. Where'd you put my Minecraft game? Is it in the bag still? Yeah. Right. Yeah, I got I got Minecraft on the Vita for ten bucks at Walmart. I'm like, hell yeah. It's a handheld. <laughs> that shows you how popular the Vita was, guys. She just said, "What is the Vita?" So that should tell you. Have Nobody you knows. With the Xbox One yet. I had the Xbox One before I had the PS4. Did you like it better than this? Or no. Did you like this better than sold Xbox it one? and got this. <laughs> but I think Xbox is one is cooler because you can talk to it and tell it, Xbox, turn on. You could also push a button and have it do the same thing in less time. But, I mean, it's easier to talk to it. You're not going to be very popular in here if you're a Kinect fan. They'll, they'll tear you up. <laughs> I mean, I'm not a Kinect fan. I like PlayStation more. I just think it's cool that you can talk to the Xbox One. You just like don't want to move. You just don't want to move. Want. <laughs> you want it done. I get it. I get it. <gasps> you gotta be fucking kidding me. <laughs> this isn't a physical fucking... <gasps> oh, you fucking... And you can't take it back because you just opened it. I thought it was a physical game. It's a stupid fucking downloadable game voucher that I can't even use. Oh, I thought it just didn't have the game in it. No, it's got a game voucher, but I can't fucking goddamn use it because I can't get on line with my Vitas because I, I haven't modded. I didn't have it because... What the fuck? I didn't read it. I'm a fucking idiot. It says it right there. Downloadable game voucher, no game card included. Well, I... Will? 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 Man, I'm bummed about that. I thought I was getting a physical fucking Minecraft on the Vita for a minute. For a hot minute. Somebody's like, I'll buy it for five. You're not, you're not, what are you, what are you trying to pull? <laughs> what are you trying to pull? Never thought I'd be doing the Twitch thing, people, let me tell you. If you guys didn't see my update video, some fucking goddamn fucking bullshit's going on, so. That's, that's the thing you get, man. That's the thing you get for inviting somebody onto your stream and having them on. And they make an ass out of themselves. And somehow you're the bad guy. Because I guess that's how the fucking world works. I just can't fucking believe it, man. I cannot fucking believe that little fucking pissing it fucking flagged my shit, dude. 
I didn't even do anything to the fucking prick. Okay, what, I call you a fucking retard a couple times? Because you are a retard, dude. Okay, don't get it twisted, dude. You definitely are. Set the story. Say the story about Danny. Danny's just a fucking fuck, dude. He's just a fucking... He's a goddamn whine and cry baby. His fucking uh, girlfriend used to talk... I'm not, I don't feel like playing this right now, guys. I'm, I'm, I'm beat. I'll just talk for a little bit. Um, I'll try to stream tomorrow and actually do some gameplay and shit, but... I'm fucking exhausted, guys. But, um... No, no, I knew, I've, I've known Danny for a long fucking time, but I, I knew his girl, like, first of all, like, his girl was always talking to me. Danny's fucking Blue Magus. And, uh, you know, Danny was, like, talking to me, and I knew there's something weird about this guy. I get him in a fucking, uh, stream, it's like me, Harley, and Danny in this fucking stream, and... Danny has this complete fucking mental breakdown, fucking talking about gonna kill himself with a shotgun, cause he's like jealous of Harley or something was happening and it set him off and he's like fucking this has a complete mental breakdown he's like I just want to kill myself with a shotgun or some fucking crazy shit it's like what the fuck dude and fucking Harley's like oh god and all she ever did was bitch and complain about this dude and about how much of a fucking pansy ass he was like all the time but like she was just you know attached to this guy and then he finds out that, like, she's telling me shit and, like, talking to me constantly. Like, this girl is always talking to me. And he gets all pissy and fucking say, like, yeah, I don't want you talking to her anymore. And I was like, fuck you, dude. I was like, I, I won't talk to either one of you. I was like, I don't give a fuck. Yeah, dude, I can't fucking stream on YouTube because of fucking Cloud Ocelot, guys. You guys can all thank that fucking prick. Yeah, I heard Cloud's feelings. Cloud... He's just, so, he's just so, oh my god, he just can't take it. Someone called him a retard. Even though what he did was complete retardation. Sorry. Never seen something so stupid in my entire fucking life. So. Yeah, so I fucking, I decided to sell that fucking Street Fighter, man. Because that is just not, not my jam, bitches. Can't, can't do it. I tried, man, and like I said, it's the arcade versions of it, too, and the arcade versions are just, they're fucking brutal, man. Like, you could put it on, you know, one difficulty, and there's, these games are still designed to take your fucking money, you know what I mean? I think it would have been better if it was, you know, put some of the home versions on it, they had more content, it's a little bit more fucking fair, and I sucked at it, yeah, dude, I'm not good at these fucking half-circle things, dude, even as a kid... You know, I would rock Mortal Kombat. I was really good at Mortal Kombat, and I had Street Fighter 2, and I was just could never get it down, man. Could never get those half circles down. That's why these motherfuckers think they're just fucking elite. Like, they're just like, yeah, fucking, I'll rock Street Fighter. Professionally, bitches. Okay, I'll hand it to you. I mean, you want to do those half circles all fucking day. Bitch, I'll do a half circle on your girl's clit, motherfuckers. Okay, I don't give a fuck, okay? I might not be perfect at it, but it works for me, bitches. I never had no complaints about my half circle. But I'm not into it, man. You know, I was I would play I'd play Street Fighter like when I was a kid and I'd be like, where's the fatalities? You know what I mean? <laughs> like I I'm not ripping out someone's dick and beating them with it. I'm not happy about it, bitches. I'm not happy about it. So I sold it to a fan, and then I went to GameStop and I was looking for a game. I ended up picking up um fucking because I saw online that they had it, and I was like, man, I bet it's a fucking open copy and all this other bullshit. Because I was going to order it, but I was like, nah, I want to play it today. So I went there, and they have one copy. I'm like, do you guys have a sealed one? I really don't want you fucking pulling shit out of fucking envelopes and shit. We've been over this. Like, this is the only one. I was like, fuck it, motherfucker, give it to me. So this fucking fat fuck gets it out of the envelope. Like, just fucking touching it and shit, man. Let me, let me have an example here. So I have, a, I have a shitty game that I can have an example of here. Uh, let's do a WCW and WWO Thunder, okay? So, he's pulling it out. He's pulling it out of the case, out of the fucking envelope, dude. Instead of just, you know, giving that little tug, you know, holding it from the sides, you know what I mean? Putting it in the envelope. No, this motherfucker takes it out of the envelope, like, you know, and then he, like, puts it in his mouth. He got the envelope open, you know, and then he drops it, okay, and then he's just like doing this, 
We're doing one of the you know, one of these, and then he puts it down his pants for some reason for a long time. That was weird, you know? Like, why can't people just handle discs right? Like, literally every disc I have is is brand new. Like, even when I was a fucking kid. Like, why is it so hard? You never touch the bottom of a disc! And so, motherfucker, please, man. So he left a fucking fingerprint on this bitch, and I had to spend an hour and a half trying to get the fucking fingerprint off, Okay? This is what I'm doing with my life, man. Sitting over here by the lamp, holding it up, fucking getting his fingerprint off. This fat fuck left on my game. Okay, give a fucking fuck. About to half circle his face. Mmm, bitch. Give me a fucking break, man. How hard is it? You, you, children. I, I, I've taught my little uh, fucking four-year-old nephew how to handle fucking CDs. He does it perfectly. Fucking ridiculous, man. That's why I don't like it. Like, whenever they tell me that they let's say they only have one copy left, because, I mean, let's face it, I do go to GameStop because sometimes they just have a copy of the game, and I don't want to have to order it. I just want it immediately. And they'll have one copy, and they're fucking pulling it out of their asses. Like, they're keeping it, like, they're only keeping an envelope. They keep it up their asses. It's just like, why? Why? I think I finally got it off, man, but I am very particular with my discs, man. Like, I, I've, I've had... I've had people come over and stuff, like friends and stuff, and they'll look, they'll start like going through my games and they'll like look at the discs and be like, I'm like, have you ever even played these? I was like, nah, motherfucker, not even a fingerprint on any of these bitches. Okay? That's what's up, bitches. So I seen uh, Caleb had a donation, so I'm gonna check that video out. You Knowing Caleb, it's gonna be some frightening shit. Uh oh. My face next to the word, word heroin. Starting out real good. <laughs> Drugs are kicking in. Oh! I fucked up! Ate too much. Ate too many brownies. Flash is the final flip. That's a drunken punk still invading my fucking videos, bitches. Yeah, Caleb, we gotta talk, bro. We gotta talk, bro. I'm real worried about you. <laughs> hey, what's, what's funny is, I, I feel like if I was to like legit make this video, somebody out there would love it, and it would be somebody's favorite video of mine. <laughs> you know? Like, I... There's, there's some people, like, they'll tell me, like, their favorite videos of mine, and I'll, and I'll just be like, I'll be like, oh, yeah, and I'm thinking to myself, that video sucked. Like, <laughs> like all these videos I've made over the years, and I know which ones are, like, my best shit, and I know which ones some are, like, you know, I, I don't ever release bad shit, but, like, I know which ones are better than some, and sometimes somebody will like a video, and I'm just like, that's your favorite? You know what I mean? Like, what the fuck? <laughs> Why are you guys so obsessed with ranch dressing? Why is it on everything? Pizza does not need to be dipped in ranch. Why is it called ranch? No. Well, ranch. Tell me how to eat my pizza, woman. What is in the ranch dressing? Is it from the ranch? And does it contain flavors that you would assimilate with a ranch? Motherfuckers, what? please. Okay, you, you motherfuckers live in a goddamn country with spiders as big as fucking trash cans that can devour your fucking infant, dude. Okay? Give me a fucking break, bitches. Everything can kill you in Australia. Okay? Leave our ranch alone, okay? If you guys had ranch, it'd be poisonous ranch. It would kill everybody. Motherfuckers got flies that if a fly lands on you, your fucking arm explodes. Give me a fucking break, dude. Ain't nobody... Okay? I love Australia, but y'all motherfuckers crazy. I don't know how you... Anybody is even alive in Australia. Like, everything wants you dead. And why is it in a can? And I tried cheese in a can, it's disgusting. Everybody's all about this cheese in a can, man. Okay, let me do a public service announcement here, okay? Uh, even Americans, we don't even like cheese in a can, okay? <laughs> you know, it's literally a joke. It's like a gag gift, you know what I mean? You know, it's like one. You know, it's like a little fun toy. You know, like that you or you purchase for someone. It's, you know, you put cheese in a can next to the silly string on the fucking shelf. You know what I'm saying? Like nobody's taking the shit. We don't. This. We aren't. I, I imagine people just has like a vision of Americans that are just sitting there with cheese in a can, like two cans at the same time, oh, just sitting there all fucking day, bitches. Nobody likes it. <laughs> it's garbage. It's like a gag gift. 
Ain't nobody eating cheese in a can, okay? It can this this thing. It could go to any other country. We would, would not miss it. I like big beverages, bitch. Okay. Big beverages, big dick. Why don't you just add sales tax to the price tag? Now you got a point there. You got a point there. Why we're like the only country in the entire world that does that? That used to mystify me as a kid, man. Like I used to fucking like I would want a game and I would save up my fucking money as a kid. You know, like like, like the game's like twenty nine ninety nine. You know what I mean? I'm like I'm like oh okay, let's go to the store. I want to buy this game. You know it's I have thirty dollars. I have a penny more than it costs. You know what I mean? And my mom's like no, you still don't have enough. I'm like. Just this lying? They're just lying on the sticker? And you know, like, if, in America, like, every price is like a bait and switch, you know what I mean? Like, two ninety nine. dollars I don't think so, bitches. It's four twenty. dollars you know what I mean? Like, oh, it's five ninety nine. dollars Nah, it's $65. Like, what, 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 what? You know, like, how'd this happen? Like, I, I totally agree with that. It's funny, my fucking, my knee, like, I was, like, setting everything up, and my knee's sitting here. Like, it looks like a big fucking dick, dude. Like, this, this is what my dick is. <sighs> <laughs> you know, real life, real life dick there, bitches. <laughs> this is the way I'm sitting, just looks like it's fucking just chilling here on the side. Dear Rob, you rule. I appreciate that. I like to think I rule. I pretty much rule. I rule them buttholes. <laughs> I used to rent, like, I remember I used to play the old school Madden games, man, like on... Like Genesis and stuff like that. Like, I would rent them. I'm, you know, I, there's a period of time when I, I tried to get into sports games. I mean, oh, I'm copying that. ain't going to work. Um, It just didn't happen for me, man. I, I, for a long time, I really tried to get into sports, and it's just, no. Like, I can't, I can't do it, man. I, I've just never been able to get into any sports, man. You can bring me... You could bring me to the the final game of the of the World Series with... You know, like a fucking team that hasn't won in forever, and I'll, I'll, I wouldn't care. Like, you know, I'd be, I'd be fucking on my my fourth beer, trying to get fucking wasted, so I don't have to fucking deal with it. Like, I don't, I don't, I think bo seeing baseball like in person is like the most boring thing of all time. Like, I mean, at least with like, it's the same thing with wrestling. When you're watching baseball, and you're you're everybody looks like fucking ants. Okay, and you gotta get the goddamn fucking telescope out to even see these bitches. And you don't even know what's going on. And you don't got the benefit of, like, the angles of the, you know, behind the picture and, like, all these different angles and the commentary and shit. When you're seeing it live, it's just, it's just like a bunch of motherfuckers out there playing baseball. You know, hardly any hits half the time. I remember I went to this Dayton Dragons game and it was just, like, the most boring thing ever. It was, like... Every single hit was like a fucking foul ball. It was just boring, man. I play NFL Blitz, though, for sure. And wrestling... Wrestling is not entertaining. Nah, dude. Nah, I went. I went to a WWE event. Okay? And I went with my buddy. And the most exciting thing about that event, and the only thing I remember about it, is this motherfucker having, like, a stroke, like, outside the fucking... Uh, outside the fucking venue. And there's, like... 20 people like, you got a doctor? We need a doctor. And, again, and of course, there's always one guy. I'm a doctor. I'm a doctor. I don't think, I think he was just high and like he, was, he didn't know where he was. I don't, don't think he was a doctor. And, you know, it's like grabbing the guy's balls and shit. Like, I think he's going to be okay. You know, like, this is not a doctor. <laughs> I always think about that. Like, whenever they're like saying like, oh, I need a doctor. I need a doctor. And then there's always that one person. I'm a doctor. They're like, what if that person's just fucking around? Like, <laughs> you know, he don't got his doctor card. He's probably, like, you know, like, like a police badge. Like, I'm a doctor. Nah, dude, you could be fucking, you could be a rapist. <laughs> you don't fucking know. But that's the most interesting thing about the whole thing was that. It was like this guy was just like out there having a strizoke or something, like, burp, 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 or something. And I was like, I remember that. And then I was like, man, I remember telling my friend, like, man, if this is what happens before we get into the event, I can only imagine how awesome this And I'm like, my friend's just like building it up, like, yeah, this guy's gonna, he's like, this guy was like sleeping with his wife and he's gonna take him out and. Like, you know, it, it, literally when guys talk about wrestling, it's like how old ladies talk about their stories, you know what I mean? Like, their general hospital, and they're bold and the beautiful and shit, like, 
Oh, I can't believe Barbara cheated on Hank. They've been together. And, and, and Hank had a sex change and is now carrying Barbara's baby. And, oh, I can't fucking wait to see what happens. It's the exact same thing, except wrestler names. Like, you know what I mean? Like, oh, man, I can't believe Chris Jericho uh, cheated on uh, some random bitch that nobody cares about. And, oh, I can't believe it. He's, oh, I bet he's going to hit him with a trash can in this episode. I bet he is, you know. I hope he I hope he does it before he has that sex change and it's just like I don't care. But then when you see it live, all it is is a bunch of fucking sweaty motherfuckers up there, like not even touching each other, man. Like depending on where you're sitting, like when you're seeing it on TV, like you get the angles. You get the different angles and they, they kinda hide it in a way that makes it look like it's fucking halfway real. When you're seeing it live, man, they're just fucking like here's the person and they're like Bleh. Bleh. Like, not even making contact, man. Like, they're just, they do that stomp, like, boo, boo, boo. And I'm just sitting there like, oh, my God. I had this redneck woman with, like, a sign over, like, two seats down from me. Kick his ass! Kick his ass! You know, like, she's about to pop her fucking hangy sock titties out her fucking dress and shit. Like, I was just like, everybody's drunk. Everybody smells like beer. You know what I mean? Like, yeah, you got fucking obvious cousins kissing each other right in front of you. It's weird. It's a weird environment. I don't like it, bitches. He doesn't get rid of it. Come on, man. I'm not just a broadcaster. I'm also a psychic. If you want to call in, I'll do some readings. You said it's very dang shorter to have a realistic shot at going for it. I don't know how, I don't know how these priest professional gamers ever fucking... I, 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 I caught it at the last second, Patrick. Uh, I don't know how these professional gamers ever get laid. <laughs> you know, like... When you're meeting a girl, the, the, the fucking subject of what you do for a living it usually comes up in the first date. And you're going to tell her that you play Madden for a living? You play video games for a living? Bitches! <laughs> you ain't ever going to get no pussy if you go up to a girl and say you play video games all day long for a living. Okay? Okay, that's, that's pussy repellent, okay? Like, you're spraying it all over yourself, man. Like, they just fucking bounce off of you. They ain't even sticking, bitches. Like, you ain't ever getting laid telling bitches that. There ain't no way that this guy tells girls that he's... You, yeah, you can get a fat chick. I mean, you can get a fat chick anytime, anywhere. I mean, I can call... I, I could dial a random number, okay, on this phone. And, like, there's like a, like a 80, 85% chance a fat bitch will answer. And if I told her to get him over here and get some dick, she would be here. She'd be here slowly because she's a fat bitch. It's going to take a little bit more time, you know what I'm saying? But... Yeah, I don't see how that's ever going to get you laid, you know what I mean? Like I've I've had, I've been I've I've laid quite a bitch. Okay, and no. No, that would not fly. So, it's always been interesting to me like how these guys ever get laid. Third and 18. Here at the 2 minute warning. Wilson just Throws it for ball, but man, he can't I just don't. I don't see how anybody gets into this Madden, man. It's like so boring. Back in the day, like NFL Blitz, you know, I can see why somebody would want to play an arcade style sports game, like NBA GM. I don't really even count those as sports games. You know, what I mean, they're more just like arcade, like goofy games. You know, when when the rules are so fucking different and everything, nothing applies. It's no longer football anymore. When you can spear someone and smash their skull in and body slam them. And, like, you know, there's, like, basically no penalties at all. It's not football anymore. It's, like, just a game created from football. I like that kind of stuff. Ask it's for a punt. Ball, fourth and two, and I can't catch the ball right there. I, I've crazy, never... Dude. It's crazy, man. Uh, it's crazy, man. I tried to catch the ball. Didn't catch the ball. I dropped the ball. I didn't do what I was trying to do. I was trying to catch the ball. That's crazy, man. Crazy, man. Fits it in there to the 46. I mean, just shy of the sticks. What's very interesting yo, is that... Yo, man! Yo, yo, it's Glitch, man! He was at the game. I'm about to yeah, call my homie DSP and tell him about this. No PA yeah, drop the ball, man! Yeah, yeah, Street Fighter's yeah. definitely Glitch. This yeah, is Glitch, too! Crazy, it's crazy, man. Oh, my gosh! It's like he had an in route, which he smart route, so it was gonna run the distance. Oh, like the read. <laughs> Ran the safety away, oh, but bad throw. Why well, don't I understand that? You know, like I, I don't get why people get so upset. You know what I mean? I, I like, in like a competitive environment like that. Okay, you're getting 
your ass kicked by someone who's better at the game. They're, they're better at the game. I mean, you know, like, it, it's literally, like, just childish shit, you know what I mean? Like, you know, I outgrew that shit when I was, like, 10, 11 years old of that, you know, like, getting mad when, you know, you're, you're losing and, you know, you, you, you know, f fucking flipping the Monopoly board over, like, fuck you, bitch, okay? You fucking fuck your railroads, okay? I'm sick and tired of this shit. All right, you buy up all the shits every fucking time, okay? You run out of money, I let you borrow fucking money. And then, all of a sudden, now you're winning. You should have lost, but you would have fucking complained if I didn't fucking loan you the money in the first place. Okay? Now you're winning. You take up all the shit. Fuck this game, you know? Now, no... I, I'm convinced that no game of Monopoly has ever been finished. You know what I mean? It always fucking ends before it's fucking done. With somebody getting mad. But I've never been that way, you know what I mean? Like, if you beat me, you beat me, you know what I mean? It, you were just better at that moment in time. Yeah, you know, like... It's, it's not worth getting all upset yeah, over it, acting like a fucking douchebag. Just an eight-point game. You still okay with it going? I know hindsight's twenty twenty. I, I, I don't mind it. it <laughs> They're announcing this shit like it's real football, man. You think you have the place tight. Love the score before the two-minute warning. Checks it down to lock it. What's wrong with this game? I've rocked seven times. Let me get out of bounds. So he like to dude, I would, if I was this other guy, I would have fucking told him to get his fucking panties out of a bunch for being a pussy, dude. It's become contagious. It is fun when you beat someone, like, just so hard that they just, like, are on the verge of crying. I've done that. It feels good. Nah, this is for real. This motherfucker's really doing this. <laughs> <laughs> this guy's trying so hard not to fucking just start bailing out laughing, dude. 18 and oh, dude, no wonder he's fucking. I gotta hear him say stop again. Stop! Fucking raped! Stop! Oh my gosh! Stop! <laughs> getting out of his head right now. Let's check it out, man. Alright, hey guys, so oh, today no. I'm going to talk oh, about no. something I've been meaning to cover on my channel for quite some time, and something I get asked pretty frequently, and that is why do I not use emulators for video games? Because you're a fucking self important, conceited fuck. Thinks he's better than everybody else for playing an emulator of a game that's literally the ROM off the game. It's the same fucking game, okay? And you put a fucking TV up to the TV, okay? You put a game with the OG copy and with an emulator, you won't be able to tell the difference, okay? I've done it to people, literally. You, you can't tell. Emulators, I really could care less. I mean, okay? Ah, yeah, I wonder why you don't fucking care because you own every single copy in, uh, of Little Samson in the entire world. Okay, you're the reason why these games are so fucking expensive. Of course you don't fucking care. You have every game ever fucking made. So don't fucking sit there, okay, with your 20-ton fucking goddamn game collection looming in the background like the goddamn monolith from 2001, okay, and tell me that I'm wrong for playing emulators. You fuck! <laughs> I ain't dealing with this shit. Man, all these motherfuckers are just circle jerking each other, man. You know, that, that's why, you, like, you go down in the fucking comments, and it's just all the, it's all the same people. You got Alpha, Circle Jerk, and Happy Console Retard, and you got, you got the Game Nutsack down here doing the same thing. I can't use the, uh, don't use emulators, except for me. But the rhymes was, it's the only way to play. Oh, yeah, Game Sack, I'm going to take advice from you after your, what, filing copyright claims of people using game footage that you recorded that you do not own? Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. Price and then getting the physical thing, it's like Christmas more. I get excited. I can get excitement out of sucking on titties, dude. Okay? Titty in my mouth? Way better than overpaying on a fucking game, dude. Okay? Like, most people, I don't even know what the fuck. You, whatever, you won the lottery or whatever the fuck's going on. Nobody has, you know, $200 for little Samson might be a good price, but I still ain't fucking paying it, bitch. Okay? Because I got it for free. Two hundred. Product. It's a piece of history. Free. 
collectors there ain't even no with, you know, actually owning their comparison thing. no comparison and if like I don't get it like and then you got like these systems trying to justify like these things are just made for fucking maniacs okay you're gonna hook up your fucking Super Nintendo into your fucking Frame Meister Meister okay that the Frame Meister itself costs like 40 billion dollars now I don't know if you guys you know are, are, are you know aware of this yeah here's one for 485 dollars oh, five thousand dollars only f man, that's a deal, dog. Five thousand dollars, man. Two hundred only, only twenty four easy payments of two hundred and nine dollars, bitches. You know, I know you were looking at that Corvette, that you know nineteen ninety five Corvette, of which you can get a really nice one for five thousand dollars. But nah, man, I'd rather have the Frame Meister in my mouth. Okay, I'll, I'll fucking slap some rims on this bitch and drive it around. Okay? Are you fucking kidding me? How would you know? <laughs> yeah, cops? Yeah, it's Hind Hindenburg Polka. Yeah, I, I thought it was illegal. Yeah, send everybody. Send them all, bitches. Okay, I want this channel taken off the off the internet. My Little Pony in there now? Not good.